Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the first lecture video for the statistics course. My name is Dr. Jared McBride and uh, I'll be your instructor for this course. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the um, lecture slides. So in order to do that, we'll go ahead and open up Canvas. We'll go to statistics. We'll go to, let's see, what do we want? We want pages here. We'll go to pages and uh, we'll find this link right here lecture slides click on lecture slides and here they are let's open them in notability create new good good import good okay let's go to notability close that here we are okay so here are our slides these are what we're going to be turning in after we watch this video. Please place a screenshot of your name written at the beginning of this section in the book. Okay, well, the whole purpose of that is to get you in the book. And so um, the first thing we need to do is to get the book. So how do we do that? We'll go ahead and go to Canvas. Uh, we're in Pages. We'll go back. We'll go to the Textbook um, tab. And we'll go down here to download. So we'll download PDF. We're using a free textbook from uh, on uh, OpenStax. And so here's our PDF. So what we can do is we can share this also to Notability. Okay, great. I'm gonna go out of that, open up my textbook. I'm in Notability. And I'm going to go to the first section. Yep, go to link. There it is. And I'm just going to write my name. All right, something like that. And uh, now I will take a screenshot of this. There we go. Okay, great. There's my screenshot. I'm going to go back. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Close that. Go into this. And then I'm going to paste. It says it doesn't. Let's see. Copy. There we go. Paste. Yes, allow. There we go. Okay. So there it is. That's the first thing we need to do. All right, so there it is. It tells me, yes, I know where the book is. I have access to the book, and I can even write in it if I want to. All right, so let's let's move on and start talking about, the, uh, talk about statistics. So the science of statistics. Statistics uh, is a science. It's a very difficult science because it deals with um, uncertainty and a lot of unknown, and it tries to quantify um, things that are very difficult to quantify, like emotion or um, market forces, market quantity in economics, things like that, very difficult to quantify in any useful way. And statistics allows us to do that in an incredibly useful way. All right, so uh, it's the science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data in order to make decisions is what we want to make. Descriptive statistics... There are two types of statistics, descriptive statistics and infer inferential statistics. In this course, you will learn both of those. Particularly, you will learn how to organize and summarize data. Organizing and summarizing, summarizing data is called descriptive statistics. And so here's a way of organizing some data um, what, you've got, uh, different students at different schools, it looks like. There's, there's really not a whole lot of information here. Uh, that would, uh, a caption would be helpful here. But, um, oh well, this is just an example, it's just a little example. So that's a de descriptive statistics, it helps describe the statistics of what's going on. There's also a branch called inferential statistics. So after you have studied what? Studied probability, actually. 
and uh, more importantly, probability distributions. After you've studied probability and probability distributions, you will use formal methods for drawing conclusions from good data. The formal methods are called inferential statistics. Now here's an example of a regression line that's used. You've got a lot of data, and it can be displayed in all sorts of different ways, but how can you learn how can you use this data to predict a, a y value given an x value what's the best y value um, f given this data that's an inferential statistic and uh, we'll first start by we'll first start we'll first talk about des descriptive statistics and then later on we'll talk about inferential statistics Okay, the goal of statistics is not to perform numerous calculations using the formulas, but to gain, but to gain, but to gain an understanding of your data. The calculations can be done using a calculator or a computer. In this class, we're going to use Excel mostly. We're not going to focus on using a calculator because a calculator is hardly ever, if, if ever, used in industry. Uh, the understanding must come from you. If you can thoroughly grasp the basics of statistics, you can be more confident in the decisions you make in life. And, that, and that's something. Okay, probability... Probability is a mathematical tool used to study randomness. It deals with the chance or the likelihood of an event occurring. Okay, so for example, if you toss a fair coin four times, the outcomes may not be two heads and two tails. However, if you toss the same coin 4,000 times, the outcome will be close to half heads and half tails. A very basic example of probability in play. How do they know? How do they know that it's going to be about half tails and half half heads, half tails? Well it's because we've got this this um this this um theory uh built up that uh, helps us to understand that. And uh it's uh it's merit comes from it being true. And um, how do we know it's true? Well, it's true because that's what happens if you were to actually do that, flip a coin 4,000 times, you would find that it would be half and half. So that tells you that that's, uh, that's a good definition of truth. If um, you're able to use it to predict outcomes and the outcomes are shown to be predicted correctly, um, and so that's what probability does for us. Okay, statistics is based on the theory of probability. So the theory of probability uh, began with the study of games such as uh, chance and poker, ga games of chance such as poker. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it is. The predictions uh, take the form of probabilities to predict the likelihood of an earthquake or rain or whether you will get an A in this course we use probabilities I think that is a bit more close to why people began to formally study probability there was a lot there was a lot of good mathematics that came out of World War II, actually, because they wanted, because, uh, because knowledge is power. And uh, if you can devise a way that uh, can help you train your missiles um, onto a target, which is what they were able to do in World War II, because of statistics, then that's going to give you a, an advantage in warfare. And uh, so there was a lot, a lot of good statistics that came out of World War II. 
Okay, uh, doctors use probability to determine the chance of vaccination of a vaccination causing the disease the vaccination is supposed to prevent. So, so, and of course that probability helps us to make decisions. All right, let's get into the terminology. So, population is a, ter- a term of art. In statistics, we generally want to study a population. Well, what is a population? Population is everything you want to study. Everything you would like to make it a a uh, a um, um, an inference about. Okay, you can think of a per- of a population as a collection of persons, things, or objects under study. Okay. Uh, so population. Here's an example. Determine the population. We want to know the average or mean amount of money first year college students spend at San. Jacinto, San Jacinto College uh, on, on school supplies that do not include books, that do not include books. We randomly surveyed 100 first-year students at the college. Three of those students spent da, 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 those things respectively. All right, and what's the population? The, we randomly surveyed 100 first-year students. That is not the population. The population is all first-year students. We want to know the average amount of money first-year college students spent. So it's all first-year college students. So the population here, all first-year college students. All right, good. Sample. Sample, on the other hand, to study a population, we select a sample. We can't select everybody, and if we could, that would be called a census. We can't, but we usually can't do that. We can't select everybody. Uh, The idea of sampling is to select a portion or subset of the larger population and study that portion. Uh, the sample, to gain information about the population. That is so much of what statistics is. We want to study a population, some very large group of people, like uh, all Americans, right? Or, 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 um, or, uh, or people with some sort of condition, right? All of them, every person with that sort of condition. But we can't query everybody, so we have to get a subset. And the question is, is how do I do that in a way that what I learn about the subset is true about the population. And how, how true is it? And uh, that, that's what we want to talk about in statistics. Okay, so we've got a sample. And the sample is just the proportion that you are studying. Okay, so let's go back to our example here. Determine the sample now. Remember the, the college students, the first year college students. The sample is those 100 individuals that were surveyed. That is the sample. Okay, so the sample are the uh, 100, oh, 100 people surveyed. Okay, a parameter. A parameter is a number that is, so a parameter goes with the population. You will notice they both start with P, parameter population. A parameter is a number that is a property of the population because it takes a lot of time and money to examine an entire population sampling is a very practical technique i like that I like the way they said that okay parameter determine the parameter we want to know the average or mean amount of money okay so this is the same example that we talked about before what's the parameter though the parameter is the money spent where is it where is it where is it the 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 uh, amount of money amount of money students spent that actual amount of money so the average the actual average that all first year students spent Um, on supplies. 
Okay, that is the parameter. It is the quantity that we're interested in of the whole population. Now, do, do, do we know that? No, we don't know this parameter. Can we compute it? No. This is too, it's too hard. It's too, too, many, uh, too many people we'd have, to, um, we'd have to get. So it's very difficult to come up with the parameter. However, the statistic, on the other hand, is a little bit easier. A statistic is a number that represents a property of the sample, the sample, those 100 students. For example, if we consider one math class to be a sample of the population of all math classes, then the average number of points earned by students in that one math class at the end of the term is an example of a statistic. It is a value that they took from the sample. All right, so back to our example here. Um, what we can do is we can take a... We can take a random sample of 100 first-year college students And we take the average of all of those numbers. So there's 150, 200, 225, and maybe there's, you know, 137. And what we can do is we can actually average this and get actual average of sample. That is computable. Okay, and that's and that and that is the that is the statistic. Okay. So, all right, great. So, then anyway, so that's sample. So, sample sample statistic population parameter. Sample statistic population parameter. All right. Um Variables. A variable noted by a capital letter such as X or Y, and that's not always true, is a characteristic of interest for each person or thing in a population. So we're interested in studying something. Um, some property of some group of, of items or people. And... Um, that thing that we're interested in, that property, um, is basically a variable. So, so yeah. Uh, variables. Determine the variable. So, determine, determine the variable here. We want to know the average or mean amount of money the first-year college students spend. And... Uh, and so, so the variable here is the amount of money. That's the quantity that we're interested in. So amount of money spent. Okay, variables may be numerical or categorical. Numerical variables take on a take on a value with equal units such as weight the values equal units such as weights pounds and time in hours things like that categorical values categorical variables place the person or thing into categories All right, if we let x equal the number of points earned by one math student at the end of a term, then x is a numerical variable. If we let y be the person's party affiliation, their political party, then some examples of y would be Republican, Democrat, and Independent. y is a categorical variable. Okay, data. Data are the actual values of the variable. That's what, yeah. 
They may be numbers or they may be words. Datum is a single value. Okay, so data determines the determine the data here. Well, the data here is is all one hundred. Um, the survey results of the one hundred people. So, for instance, it's one fifty. Uh, two hundred to twenty five. So this right here. So the data is the. Reported um, figures. Okay, and that's it. All right, so what we would do now is we'd click up here and go uh, quick share, something like that. And um, I don't know, could we share this to Canvas, I wonder? Um, I don't know. Okay, anyway. Uh, all right, everybody, have a good day. Thanks.